You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your Days of Our Lives comings and goings. Sean and his lover both exit Salem, and a huge villain is back, and and a minor villain, too. We have got all the latest ins and outs for you. There is so much to cover in this latest edition of Who's In, Who's Out in Salem. We know there's a pile of people leaving. There were seven women and one man impacted by the wave of cuts report reportedly under the auspices of now-fired Albert Alar. And of course, the director-producer was axed himself after a spotlight was shined on accusations against him, but we're still seeing fallout from his reign, allegedly. So last week, we watched Two Exit, and we've also got a big bad wolf back and a villain who's barely bad at all on the scene as well. Let's chat about all this, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our day's updates. So So we know Martha Madison is leaving as Belle Black, and we suspected that Brandon Beamer might leave as well as we had some insight that he might be the one male hit by the cast cuts. And then, of course, yes, now we do know that Brandon was the one guy among the eight that were cut. Of interest is that Sean Brady is leaving town way before Belle Black does, and they are going their separate ways, at least for now. So late last week, Sean told Belle that he needs to clean up his act. It looks like him falling into bed with another woman was his bottom of the barrel moment, which is great because he just, he seemed to hit bottom a couple of times and then he just kept digging anyway. He has opted to do an outpatient rehab Stent, but not in Salem. He plans to move to be near where his mom, Hope, is taking care of Bo, who's in a facility. And that's where Ben, Sierra, and their one kid, plus the other kid on the way, are living as well. So Bell offered to come with him, but he said no, he needs to go and work on himself. And of course, they've had a really rough road with him getting increasingly out of control after shooting Bo Brady, and then him going so far as to blame himself for Victor's death because he thinks Victor wouldn't have been on the plane that day if not for Bo being in the care facility. That's just a whole lot of blame to process and Sean didn't handle it well from drinking on the job to hopping in bed to cheat with a rando. It's all bad. So now Sean is gone and speaking of the rando that he banged, I mean she wasn't entirely random. She was his wife's client and his partner's younger sister. Yep, we're talking about Talia Hunter who also packs her bags to leave town. While both Sean and his latest lover are leaving, they are definitely not going anywhere together. On Tuesday, October 17th, Belle runs into Talia and tells her to stay the bleep away from her or else. And then Talia tells her sister Jada that she just needs to get out of Salem. I mean, most of the town knows she banged Belle's husband. Even her shrink Marlena Evans chewed Talia a new one for playing hop on pop with her son-in-law. For the record, a Keetra civilian is 28 to Brandon Beamer's 43. It is a bit of an age gap, but yeah, not the worst we've seen on a soap. So that's two more down and a few more exits to go. We expect Camilla Banus and Martha Madison, who play Gabby and Belle, respectively, to leave somewhere from late October to early November, basically in November sweeps, because November sweeps starts late this month and carries on to closer to Thanksgiving. We know that they both shot final episodes around the the end of April and with a six month shoot ahead schedule that's why I am saying late October to early November and that echoes what Martha Madison has said as well perhaps Bell in the end will decide to follow Sean to his rehab location anyway there's no word yet on how Gabby's going to exit but there are rumors of her dying or being recast but since it's days of our lives you know They can do both. They could kill her off and recast her because, you know, resurrections and recast, eh, that happens all the time. But as of now, I've seen no confirmed spoilers on how Gabby's going to exit. So if anybody's saying they know take that with a grain of salt. That is dubious news at best. We also saw the exit of another one of the ladies affected by the cuts. That was Nadia Borland as Chloe Lane left town with John Paul Lavoisier's Philip Kiriakis. We don't expect to see them again for a while. 
a good long while. And Rex Brady has also exited now that Sarah Horton says their barroom wedding is a non-starter. So if you want to see Kyle Louder, you need to watch Morning News on Channel 2 in Reno. And you can see him there every day. Plus, Susan Banks is heading back to Memphis, so that will lighten the workload of Stacey Heideck, who's got tons of scenes ahead as Kristen Demera. We've also got more scenes with John Capellos as Constantine, who sticks around to do some sightseeing with Maggie this week. I am a huge fan of his. The other big news is we've got a big bad wolf back in the mix. That is Silver Fox hottie James Reed as Clyde Weston, and I love me some bad boy Clyde. I know a lot of you guys don't because he is rotten to the core, but he's so pretty to look at. Clyde is the big villain that we've got back this week, and the minor villain I mentioned above is none other than Lucas Horton. I do consider him a minor villain because he did kidnap Sammy Brady and then he set EJ Demera up to take the fall for it and now he's in the slammer for all this but Lucas is not a terrible guy he's just a guy who acts terribly when he drinks and when he goes to extremes because of love also look for more scenes this week of the younger set with Soros, Holly Jonas, and Tate Donovan. Holly's mad at Tate for telling her mom she has a crush on someone. And of course, her creepy, creepy, creepy crush is on her soon-to-be stepbrother, Johnny Demera, who is much older than him. But Holly's not even being subtle about it, you know, wedging herself between Chanel and Johnny and then throwing water on Chanel. It's just rude. I don't think Tate owes her an apology, but I think she's going to demand one and let him know that his crush on her is unrequited. We're also going to have scenes of little Rachel Black, the tiny terror of the Demera mansion. And she's in scenes this week with her mom, Kristen. And that gets interesting because Gabby is going to try and cut a deal to help him get custody of Rachel. So that should be pretty interesting. All right. That is all the Days of Our Lives cast ins and outs that we've got for you right now. Be sure and come back every day for more spoilers and news. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely click like if you enjoyed this comings and goings update and drop your comments on how you feel about this mass exodus. It seems like we're just losing people by the droves. And obviously, Days has a big cast, but still, that's a lot of exits, right? All All right, let us know what you think. Drop the comments below. Thanks for talking soaps with me every day. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 